To bring a bit more color on the different offtake agreements that are available for develop owners and then the offtake parties, what different structures have we been seeing? I think it's helpful to characterize the two extremes and then we can find kind of the middle ground where we've seen or been hearing most of the deals get executed. On the far, I guess, left in my brain um, is you have like a fully told asset. And you could think of that as I'm swapping out my resource for fixed monthly payments. Mm -hmm. Whether it's with a utility, an aggregator, an optimizer, doesn't matter. On the other side of that, you're fully merchant, right? Day in, day out, I don't know what I'm gonna make. I'm at the mercy of my nodes LMP. Somewhere right in the middle of there, which we've where we've been hearing most of the discussion come in pl into play is revenue f shares. So a lot of times the way in which we'll see that is you'll you'll agree with the counterparty a floor price. And to that and to Brand's point, maybe that floor price is kind of just at that level where you know you can meet debt debt obligations and kind of sleep sleep easy at night. And then on the upside, there's usually a revenue split, sometimes 60, 40, 70, 30, between the owner and the set optimizer uh, of the asset. And so that enables, again, assets to be built, credit teams to sleep fine at night, you know, debt, debt service payments to be made, but also you're still exposed to those extreme pricing events, which is candidly a lot of the reason that developers are driven towards ERCOT anyway. <laughs> 